Yo, 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 it's your boy, the old better and gamer. Check this out. Please do me a favor and hit the like, the subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know whenever I go live. And if you're rocking with me and you want to support the show, you can either hit the cash app or you can hit the stars over there on Facebook or you can hit the my tip page uh, under the about sections on YouTube, Twitch, and uh, and Facebook which will lead you to, to the uh, Stream Labs or Stream Elements site where you can make your donations or tips through PayPal. And uh, and if you also you want to check out the merch store, man, got some good merch over there, go over there and get yourself a hat, a hoodie, or a sweatshirt, uh, and then support the show that way. But I appreciate everybody stopping through. Now sit back and enjoy the show. Peace. Yo, 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 what it do, what it do, what it do, yo, 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 man, what's up, everybody, man, happy Wednesday in the building, what it do, what it do, with them Texas boys out there, <laughs> yo, man, yo, appreciate everybody tuning in today, man. Do me a favor when you come through, man. Give me a like. Give me a thumbs up, man. Leave a comment, share. If you ain't follow yet, follow, man. If you wanna, uh, you know, keep keep getting some of this great good content, man. I'm trying to put out here for you, man. You know, as we, you know, play these games together, man. So I know it's been a while uh, since we've been on Mass Effect 2. I've been trying, man. I've been trying really hard to try to um, get these games in on the weekend. It's hard, bro. It's hard to get the, the match effects and the, the green balls uh, finished on the weekend because, you know, football season started, you know, events be coming up, and uh, we had to do stuff with the family, so... Weekends are pretty much packed during, during the, you know, the fall and all that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, I guess I could play games on Saturday and Sunday if I really wanted to, but, you know, it's football, man. By the time I get up from getting some good rest on the weekend, 
time I get up, give me something to eat, turn on the TV, you know, play all, you know, the first games already getting ready to start. So, and I hate to try to rush through a game just so I can, you know, check out the, uh, the, the you know, the first football games early in the day and all that kind of stuff. So, I do, I do like uh, to watch a lot of football games, um, you know. Hey, I like it. Who, who don't like football? So that's why it's been really been hard uh, to get it done on the weekend. So I said last week I had made a post. I think it was last week or earlier this week. And it might have been last week I made a post about that I'm moving the weekend streams back to the weekday. Because uh, I was normally playing them on Tuesday and Wednesdays. That's when I was normally streaming my uh, the, the games I was streaming on the weekend on Tuesday and Wednesday. So that's probably what it's going to be for a while, either Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, so we can go ahead and try to knock out some of this solo gameplay content. Because we, we, got, we got four games we've been playing lately. Uh, we've been playing a little bit of uh, the Avengers last week, I think it was. So we still got to get through that. We was playing a little bit of um, Saints Row a couple weeks back. Still got to finish playing through that campaign. I ain't really start, you know, I ain't really been playing it uh, until I'm able to stream it. <clears throat> and of course, we're still playing. Uh, we already completed Mass Effect One. Uh, we halfway through Mass Effect Two, so we gonna, we got to continue playing that so we can go ahead and knock that out. Uh, but we still got to get through Mass Effect Three. And as well as Greedfall, we still been playing Greedfall. That's <clears throat> all. It's an okay game. <clears throat> so, you know, it's not as you know, it's a little bit more boring than the other games, I guess. But it's a pretty good game overall. I mean, good uh, storyline and stuff to it a little bit. So, you know, hey, playing that too, man. But I would like to move on to some other games, man. Eventually in the future, so. I want, man, we need to hear him wrap these up, man, as, as much as we can. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to be, uh, knock these out during the weekday. I think what I'm gonna do is, instead of, if I can swing uh, two days during the week, uh, extra, it's Thursdays and Fridays. It's uh, Thursdays, is my Battlefield 2042 days that I uh, stream the multiplayer games. <clears throat> Fridays is my Call of Duty Modern Warfare game, and um, so those are two games I stream the multiplayer. Now, I need for y'all to hit that follow, hit that I notify. Uh, I just sent out a uh, event schedule uh, for Modern Warfare 3. <clears throat> uh, sent out an event schedule for Modern, Modern Warfare 3. Um, for the beta, because that's getting ready to come up. Uh, Friday, uh, I said around 1 p.m. So make sure y'all tune in Friday, around 1 p.m. if you can. If you can't, you know, check the replay. Um, and, and, you know, leave a comment, give me a like, you know, watch a little bit of replay, uh, get to check out uh, what the beta is, it's gonna be like. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm excited to try to get into that campaign. I really want to, I want to check out that campaign because it's going to be a, uh, like an open world type of campaign. So I really, I'm really looking uh, forward to that. Kind of reminded what they was explaining to me. <clears throat> if you remember this game, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Ghost Recon uh, Breakpoint is kind of an open world um, <clears throat> campaign game. And you know, and and your and the and the um the the players that you're playing against, you know, they adapt to you, adapt to how you play and stuff too. So it's kind of almost like it kind of it kind of reminds me of Breakpoint a little bit on how that game plays. Yeah, and, and if you haven't played Ghost Recon, Breakpoint is a pretty good game as well. <clears throat> so uh, I think if you're used to that, I think this open world. Uh, adaptation type of uh, campaign, which is much needed because you know, I've been playing all the Call of Duty campaigns, you know, and they okay, they're pretty good. Some are long, some are short, uh, some are predictable as hell. But I, I like this one because it's a little bit low, uh, 
more or less predictable, <clears throat> like Breakpoint, because you can just be running around the map and ain't telling who the fuck uh, about to uh, come at the end shit. So, oh, I like that shit. So, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm really excited. So, if it's going to be like Breakpoint, open world, uh, I definitely want to uh, get into that. Uh, in the modern uh, Call of Duty uh, game. Friday, uh, and of course we gotta check out the war zone and all that, so <clears throat> I'm ready to get in there and see what, it's, uh, what, what the Modern Warfare 3 beta is gonna look like. Uh, they say, like I said, uh, when I check, it said October 6th, around 1 p.m. So uh, that's what I set the event for. So make sure y'all tune in to your boy, man. Support the show. Facebook stars are also welcome, man. But if you don't want to send those stars, man, hit the like, comment, share, <clears throat> watching, you know, for like five, ten minutes or so. But do your boy good, man, for the algorithm, man. So, you know, hey, be ready, man. Appreciate everybody in advance. Uh, real quick, man, we got new this month, man. Uh, PlayStation uh, monthlies came out. Uh, so let's let's slide over here real quick. Yo, for the Facebook monthly this month, man, we got first off we got uh these are free games by the way. If you got the PlayStation Plus, so make sure y'all go check them out, man. They got the Weird West. Uh, I don't know about this one. You know, it's alright. It's kind of a cartoonish. Uh, RPG uh, style type of game. It look like for yeah, it looks like a. It kind of remind me of this other game. Uh, kind of look like Borderlands, but this is more of a RPG style than Borderlands. So I don't know. You know, if I'm bored, I'll probably check it out. But you know, yeah. Um, uh, the Callisto Protocol. Now, this is something I've been eyeing for a while to play. I have yet to play it. Uh, it came out. Uh, did it come out this year? Ah, it ain't came out this year. This game old, man. It ain't that old, though. Uh, but yeah, man, I definitely wanted to check out this game for sure. Uh, not sure uh, what kind of game it is. It's more of a. It looked decent though. I ain't gonna lie. I like uh, kind of like some monster zombie space force type shit. Almost look like Mass Effect a little bit. Uh, so yeah, I definitely want to check that out. See what they got popping for that. Uh, yeah, man. So it's free game, man. <clears throat> It came out not too long ago. It said it dropped this month, but you know, that's not true. It came out before that. It. It's been out for a little minute. So I like them uh, space games and stuff like that, you know. So I definitely want to get into this. However, I gotta get through so many of these other games, man. Cause you know I like playing these uh multi, you know these uh. Uh, these type of uh, games, these single player games. So I got to get through Mass Effect. I got to get through <clears throat> Saints Row. I got to get through, um, uh, what you call it, uh, The Avengers. I just had started playing that one. So I got a lot of games I need to get through and grieve for. So we got a lot to do. I got a lot to do. So I'm still gonna keep streaming those until we done with the campaign. Cause I hate the damn start stuff and don't finish it. So I started it, I'm gonna finish it. So I can mark that off the book. That game is done, gameplay, through, reviewed, everything, good to go. <clears throat> Yo, T-Money Baggins, man, shout out to you, man. Appreciate you coming through uh, with the like, man. Appreciate you, salute to you, brother. Yeah, man, we're about to get ready to get into, uh, get back into this Mass Effect 2. Just going over the uh, PlayStation monthlies, uh, if you haven't grabbed the game. Uh, I think the, one of the best games they got this month for free is the Callisto Protocol. I do want to check that out, but that's going to have to be uh, another time. 
after I get through these other games, uh, then I'm playing uh, these other solo games that I've been playing. So I definitely want to get through Mass Effect 2 and move over to Mass Effect 3, knock that out. Eventually, I want to get into um, Andromeda, Mass Effect Andromeda. Uh, but that'll be, you know, a little ways into the future. Uh, they also got the farming simulator. I ain't really um, <clears throat> familiar with this game. It doesn't nothing, don't look like nothing that I'm pretty much interested in. And the fact that y'all charge $49 for this game is plum ridiculous. But it's a farming simulator game. I mean, I mean, if you're into John Deere tractors and shit, I mean, this is... And this is for you, and this is the game for you. It don't look like the game. It looks boring as hell to me. So I skip that. You know, it's in the library. I put, it, I threw it in there, but uh, yeah, I, I doubt I play it. I got to be really bored to play this farming game. And I'm pretty good at farming. Well, I ain't say farming, but I am good with horticulture. I like uh plants. I, I know how to grow plants and stuff, so I'm good with that. But you know, that's tedious, and I don't want to sit here on the game playing no tedious ass game like that. No, 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 no. So, yo, man, yo, like I said, uh, Friday, tune in to the event, man. We're going to be streaming uh, the beta version of Call of, uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I can't wait. Everybody's anticipated. I hope this game don't suck because they really hype this game up for anticipation so i definitely want to check it out i definitely want to get into the campaign i might have to break it up though because the last campaign for modern warfare 2 took me six and a half hours i sat in the chair six and a half hours playing through that game <clears throat> i ain't about to, it ain't about to happen i might have to break that shit up uh, three <laughs> three hours at a time or something man and streaming another day However, but I think it's only if it do offer the camp. I, I got, I'm not sure, man, because I know what they dropping it. The beta drops uh, this weekend, and then the, and then it uh, go off, and then it will come back on the next weekend. So I might have to stream this weekend, uh, Friday. I might have to jump in here Saturday and Sunday too, and, and mix it the games get through the content before uh, I can't play it no more until the following weekend, which sucks. But I'm really ready for the release, so I ain't got to do all that. So hopefully, if they drop the campaign, hopefully I can start the campaign. And then, um, hopefully it's not super long, but I don't know. I don't know how long the campaign is going to be. Um, but if I can't play the campaign, definitely going to check out the, uh, the Warzone and all the other stuff too. So I'm definitely going to do that. So I'm gonna try to check out everything that they offer on the beta. See so y'all can get a gist of uh, what the game is gonna look like and how the game is gonna play and all that kind of stuff. Cause I know it's some new stuff they added into. So, yo, can't, I can't wait, man. Friday, man. Modern Warfare 3, man. Can't wait to get it, man. Yo, let's get into it, man. Where we at? Shit, we way over here. Mass Effect 2, man, let's go, man. Yeah, we about halfway through Mass Effect 2, so I'm really ready to get this game the fuck over with, man. So we can move on to the next uh, next uh, game down the line, uh, which be Mass Effect 3 and that, in that series. Well, then we can focus on the other games that we started, the, multi, uh, the single player games, uh, while we waiting on, you know, Call of Duty and all the other good stuff. So we continue where we left off, man. I haven't Maybe played this since the last the time we played. So. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Operative Lawson would like to see you at her station on the crew deck. Operative Taylor would like to see you over in the armory. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Incoming message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Commander Shepard, 
I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Alright, so we jump back in and y'all ready into the shit. Alright. actually doing out there she's a deep cover operative shepherd we talk only when we have to i'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a reaper artifact in the system her last report said she'd found it i thought the alliance denies the reaper threat that must be some proof she found kenson's team found an artifact out in batarian space she believes it's a reaper device proof that the reapers are indeed planning to invade i've known her a long time if she says she has proof it's worth checking out i'll make this a priority the prison is hidden underground at a batarian outpost on arata i'll upload the coordinates now once she's secure confirm her discovery we'll debrief you when you're back got it pack it out Hack it, can't hack it. <laughs> All right, so we got a couple more people we got to pick up along the way. I think it's old girl. Uh, I know old girl we got to go pick up. Shadow broker. Yeah, we got to go to that one, too. It's a good mission. All right. Let's go. Access to life support is restricted. That's medical. And Miranda was you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I had to join Cerberus, I'd. Shepard, I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. What's going on? My father was extremely wealthy. He wanted the ideal daughter, and he paid a great deal to genetically tailor me. When I learned that my father was more interested in controlling a dynasty than raising a daughter, I left. And I'm guessing he caught up with you? My father has given up coming after me. And he's not stupid. He won't cross Cerberus. But this isn't about me. I have a sister a twin, and he's still hunting her. 
Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. So why are you sharing the family history with me? My father's agents have been searching for my sister for years. I believe they've tracked her to Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. What do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nos Astra docking bay. Man, I got time for that shit. I gotta go save it. I gotta go fight the Reapers. Who else? I might well talk to you while I'm over here too and see what the hell you want. I gotta come back down here. People are talking out there, and I hear it all. Oh, okay, cool. All right, that's great. Give me a, don't mind if I do. Give me a drink. She get a bar in her quarters. I don't even have a bar in my damn state room. Now let's go. Jacob wants to speak with you. Ah, right, damn. Yeah, everybody wants something. Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. The yeoman said you wanted to see me. What's this about, Jacob? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time. Oh, hey, you want me to be a goose chase? But well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. I'm listening. My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Shepard, that ship went missing 10 years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. I've buried everything but a body. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck, see if it's legit. If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Alright, so there's three other missions we got to goddamn do. Shit. Nobody else don't want nothing else. Want nothing else. No messages for you. Yeah, good. Thank you. That shit do. Just tuning in, man. You don't know what this is about. You got to scan these planets 
so you can gather resources for research. So the more research uh, resources you have, the more upgrades uh, you can be able to research uh, through the ship. So you gotta get these little things to research for weapons and armor and all this other shit. Yeah, there ain't shit on that. Not now I'm looking at. And then it's good to go ahead and scan these planets anyway, so you can complete that sector. So you ain't got to come back, you know, and do this shit later. Yeah. Okay. Launching probe. I'm only looking for element, element zero and iridium. It's basically what I'm looking for. As much as possible. Launching probe. That's good. All right, I'm saying we're good with that. All right, so we gotta go to we'll take it. Recruit Tally. All right, we got that. We gotta do Tally's mission. Firewalker, do the Firewalker shit last. Hold on. Let's go to uh, turn on this. Shit. All right. The key is dead, but you need to get soldier man's preserved and blow tank. Uh, now we're messing with the Krogan yet. Stop the collector's symbol team. That's what we're doing now. Jacob, Miranda, Shadow Broker. That was the Justin car, right? Yeah. Alright, so travel to Ilium and the Task Tail system. Alright, gotta find Ilium so we can go there and do that shit. Make sure I, I ain't already in it. Just the cars and the crescent system. There we go. There we go. Ilium crew the just the cars, help the assassin, so shit. It's for everybody right here. Alright. Uh might as well buy shit. Right, uh. By probes, check this out. So all the missions we got to do is on Ilium, so that's where we going. Next, Ilium. Knock out a couple birds and one stone. Launching probe. shit on that.
launching the probe. Launching probe. find a adjust the car, help Miranda, we gotta help a lot of people, so I might as well take her, I think Jacob, we got, oh, uh, okay. is this the one with Jacob? Astra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. Who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. You said Liara was here? What is she doing? Liara is one of Nosostra's most respected information brokers. Nosostra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Trading floor. That's what we gotta go first, but she you gonna help us find the rest of the people we gotta go. Her office overlooks the trading and floor. Yes. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. 
Also, I have a message for Miss Lawson. Lantea has reserved a room at Eternity and will be waiting. Thank you, Edie. You have to give the Asari credit. Ilium is a cultural marvel. Humanity can learn a lot from their ingenuity. Pardon me, I'm a... No, you don't understand! I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. Alright, this one, um, let's see. Ilium. That's the Shadow Broker mission. Nemo, Tally. Say two. Twenty-five. Excuse me. Excuse me. Your Commander Shepard. I saw your. I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. I met a lot of people on Novaria. Could you be more specific? I believe the message itself should make it clear. Shepard, we hide, we borrow, we build, but we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mother. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours, and our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That <clears throat> message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend on Novaria is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You screwed over my corruption investigation of Administrator Analeas. I was worried about bigger problems at the time. Saren was trying to destroy the galaxy. No kidding. And using our labs for his experiments. Man, we caught some heat over that one. Anyway, I eventually got Analeas fired for screwing an Asari tax inspector, so it worked out. Have a seat. You can buy me a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've gotta go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. What kind of merchandise do you carry? The latest in biotic upgrades and omni-tool modifications. Very high quality. Sometimes I even get special items in. No promises, of course. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? I'm sorry, everything I'm allowed to sell is on the kiosk. I have a few additional schematics and plans, but I'm afraid I haven't purchased the license to sell them here. 
Does Nosostra really need a percentage of this sale? Let's call it an exchange between friends. If you're willing to pay, I can show you something. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Avaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Harasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. <laughs> ah, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Uh, doubles the time limit for, for five bucks. Uh -huh. Out of these prices, let's see, micro scanner, major capacity creeps. So I'll take that. We can use this. Mm, I don't care for the helmet too much. Oh, uh, shields by 8%. Three shields by 8 Damage done by 10%. Lead damage. Headshot damage, it's a damage set. Damage shield set. Um, a little expensive, though, ain't it? I mean, why not? We're just playing the game. Shit. Right, I'll take it. Body damage. Uh, yeah. This looks interesting. Yeah, I'll take it. All right. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. <laughs> How long were you after this woman? A few weeks, plus transit time. Not nearly as long as Analeas. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Be pleased to see you. Has noted a correlation between tested intelligence and height of habitat. Your Liara is assistant. Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander.
Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. It's good to see you too, Liara. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... Well, for the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. What about you, Liara? I could use your help on this mission. I can't, Shepard. I'm sorry. I have commitments here, things I need to take care of. If you can't join me, would you be willing to give me some information? Of course. Who or what are you looking for? There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the Transportation Hub. Why would Samara have to register with a Tracking Officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient <laughs> sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. National alert. What's this? Hold on, let's see. Oh, it's an alert test. You know, what the fuck was it? <laughs> and she interrupt my broadcast, suckers. Good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site, except that the dead bodies still smell. Uh, well, that's better. Right. Thanks, sir. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So, you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. 
You kept me out of the Collector's hands. Without you, I couldn't have come back. Thank you. I didn't know how you'd feel when Cerberus restored you. If you'd feel betrayed, or... They brought you back. And now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years <laughs> plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. Thank you, Shepard. So we gotta find some mirror and thing. It's just another sorry. to know. Name Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him. <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then All I found right, out she was having people killed to cover shit. up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Just tell me where I can find Thane. The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. <clears throat> There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nisana is just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You better Yo, be ready. give me a second real quick. I'll be right back. Baby, baby. What a 
Oh shit, let's go. I'm ready now. That's what I like to hear. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. <clears throat> Alright, so we on the thing mission. Go ahead and get him out the way to assassin and we got to find some more. Um shit, we taking assassin with us. Uh, and we keep the same crew. Both of them pretty good. and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dante's Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. We just save time and take the shuttle up. She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. All right, let's do this. Hold on. They'll be here to greet you soon enough. Good luck, Shepard. Any 
idea how many mercs Nisana's got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nisana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. Thank you. 
with you. You got it. What are the odds that elevator is gonna be empty when it gets here? We should find cover. Quickly. or coach. Your choice. Look, pal. Even if I knew where he was, I wouldn't tell you. Not the answer I was looking for. I've got nothing more to say to you. If you shoot me... How about goodbye? That's a bit. It's all over the place. What do you mean? We've got reports of him on multiple levels. all right in here get back get back i'll shoot that's really not a good idea i don't want to hurt you right. hurt me i hardly felt a thing tell him slow and easy he's my brother i just want to see if he's all right are you the ones who shot the merc It wasn't me. What happened here? The Merc found us and shouted at us to move. We, we panicked, and he shouted more. I thought he was going to kill us, then his head just exploded. Talon picked up the Merc's gun, but we were too afraid to leave. Then you showed up. That's very precise shooting. Is the bridge the only way to the penthouse and the other tower? From here, yeah. It won't be easy. Mercs are patrolling the other side. Whatever Nasana's hiding from must be pretty scary. I'm looking for someone. Probably the guy who killed this merc. Talon thought he saw someone following us, but he's been a bit 
On edge. I haven't seen anyone but the mercs. There are still mercs up here. You should get to the lower levels. No need to convince me. Tell him. Come on, get up. Can we go home now? Yeah, we're getting out of here. Thank you. Hate this hex. Shit, man. I, I hate that they put this hack shit in the game. I hate this shit. Shit. 
Shepard, you're dead. I got better. And now you're here to kill me. I'm not an assassin, Nasana, but I'm looking for one. You break in here and decimate my security just to find the person who's here to kill me? What are you playing at, Shepard? What? I heard something. Damn it. Check the other entrances. You stay put. When I'm finished dealing with this nuisance, you and I are going to... Who? That was quick. <laughs> Not bad. I was hoping to talk to you. I apologize. But prayers for the wicked must not be forsaken. Do you really think she deserves it? Not for her. For me. The measure of an individual can be difficult to discern by actions alone. Take you, for instance. All this destruction, chaos. I was curious to see how far you'd go to find me. Well, here I am. I do want to talk to you, but how did you know I was here? Gunfire and explosions. I prefer to work quietly. If I have to fight through guards, I've made a mistake. I rarely make mistakes. 
You disrupted my plan, but your distraction eventually proved valuable. Let's cut to the chase. I need you for a mission. Indeed. You're familiar with the Collectors? By reputation. They're abducting entire human colonies. Freedom's progress was their handiwork. I see. We're going after them. Attacking the Collectors would require passing through the Omega-4 Relay. No ship has ever returned from doing so. They tell me it's a suicide mission. I intend to prove them wrong. A suicide mission? <laughs> yes. A suicide mission will do nicely. I'm dying. Low survival odds don't concern me. The abduction of your colonists does. You're dying? Are you contagious? How long do you have? If you're interested, we can discuss it on your ship. The problem isn't contagious, and it won't affect my work. Not to look a gift assassin in the mouth, but why are human colonists a concern to you? They are innocent, yes? Like all victims of the Collectors. The universe is a dark place. I'm trying to make it brighter before I die. Many innocents died today. I wasn't fast enough and they suffered. I must atone for that. I will work for you, Shepard. No charge. So that concludes the assassin mission. We got more to fill. I've heard impressive stories, Krios. Sounds like you'll be an asset to the team. That is, if you're comfortable having an assassin watch your back. I've accepted a contract. My arm is Shepard's. Uh-huh. Don't know about you, but I'm loyal to more than my next paycheck. Keep it civil, people. We've all got the same goal. Maintain the objective. Aye, aye, ma'am. Where shall I put my things? I'd prefer someplace dry if anything is available. The area near the life support plant on the crew deck tends to be slightly more arid than the rest of the ship. Ah, an AI. My thanks. He seems quite civil. We need all the help we can get. He's not what I expected in an assassin. He may surprise you. Yeah, and he may not. <laughs> Alright, I got no suit. Shoot. First, gotta go back to the same place we just left. a new message at your private terminal. Yep. Change my outfit.
Pleasure to see you again. Can I help you with something? Thank you. Have a pleasant visit to Nos Astra, Commander. Ilium is the gateway to the Traverse, but is that gate open too wide? Investment think tanks are noting concerns that new technological discoveries may upset the market balance and cost skilled workers their jobs. No, Later you don't today, understand! Heat increase and speed. I have extremely high. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to do. would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello. Can I help you with something? Have you made this quarry in your slave? We prefer the term indentured servants. Before you do anything hasty, know that this quarry and signed the agreement voluntarily and her servitude contract is completely legal on Ilium. If you actually want to help the quarry and convince the Synthetic Insights representative to purchase her contract, I bought her myself. I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Welcome to Eternity. I'm Athena, sorry matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? You're an Asari matriarch? I thought Matriarch served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock All yourself right, Facebook, out. Stop Literally, if you with want. Me. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. <clears throat> Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps.
might you like to get your hands on an expert Corian AI programmer? If you'd like to submit a resume, I... Wait, is this that slave? Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. I see what's going on here. This isn't about slaves. You just don't want to hire a quarry in. What? But... but... Is it because you don't want to feed them, or do you just not like the suits? Synthetic Insights has a strict non-discrimination policy. Come on, Facebook. Don't just hire Stop being bullshit. Maybe I'll take this to Ilium's trade bureau just to be sure. Wait, let's not do anything crazy. We don't want to waste the bureau's time. Okay, fine. I'll go drop a contract. Just leave Ilium's bureaucracy out of it. The this fuck, Gloria had better be good, though. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I'm happy to help. Here, for your trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. Ms. Lawson, I'm glad you've made it. We've had a complication. What happened? Is Ariana all right? She's fine, but you listed a man named Niket as your trusted source. He contacted me, warning that your father has sent Eclipse mercenaries to make a sweep. He suggested that the mercs might be watching for you personally. <coughs> He's offered to escort Ariana's family to the terminal instead. You didn't mention anything about Niket. He's a friend. He and I go back a, a long way. Do you want to bring in any of your other alien contacts, Ms. Lawson? No. You and the cat are the only two I trust on this. What information do you have about the mercenaries? I've confirmed that they're Eclipse, and that they're working for an organization Ms. Lawson warned us about. I could try to alert the authorities, but so far they've done nothing illegal. You made the right decision. We'll handle this ourselves. It's your sister, Miranda. What do you want to do? Lentea, we'll follow Niket's suggestion. Shepard and I will take the car and draw their attention. Have Niket escort the family to the shuttle. Give him full access to the family's itinerary, just to be safe. Understood, Ms. Lawson. So the plan is for us to get shot down by Eclipse while your sister gets to safety? Eclipse will be under orders to take my sister alive. They won't risk anything that could kill us. I'm ready whenever you are, Miranda. Thank you, Shepard. I appreciate this. I hadn't planned on Eclipse, but they never planned on you. Yeah, I got shit my ass up. Oh, we're playing with put Jacob in the game. It's been a minute. Jacob. Eclipse mercenary gunships. They'll be dropping troops in the cargo areas. Put us down in that cover behind them. Let's hope they really do want to take us alive. Mm. I said, hold fire, damn it! I got this. Since you're not firing yet, I trust you know who I am. Yeah, they said you'd be in the car. You're the bitch that kidnapped our boss's little girl. Kidnapped? This doesn't involve you. I suggest you take your men and go. 
Think you've got it all lined up, huh? Captain Inyala's already moving in on the kid. She knows about Niket. He won't be helping you. I'm giving you one chance to leave. That's more than most get. Captain Inyala ordered us to give you one chance to walk away. This whole time we've been talking, my men have been lining up shots. When I say the word, we unleash hell in your squad. So I suggest you walk away nicely, unless you... I've got one of their radios. I'll patch us in, see if I can get an idea of what we're up against. Shepard, I think I owe you an explanation. Yo, uh, Ariana Trey uh, uh, Hankins, man, appreciate the follow, man. Father, Salute to you, man, appreciate that follow. Teenager. She was meant to replace yeah. me. I couldn't let my father do to her what he did to me. So oh, I what's going her. on with this fucking She's primary shit? She's almost a woman shit. now. I'm trying to fix this shit. There's nothing really I can do about it. Man, I have it on 60 FPS. So, it's got plenty. It's Facebook be throttling my shit down. Because everything else is straight. Facebook, that bullshit. <clears throat> Why didn't you tell me that we were saving a kid? She's not a child. She'll be 19 this year. But, well, it didn't seem relevant at the time, I suppose. There are people who'd use her against me. I'm very protective when it comes to Aurea. I'm sorry I didn't trust you sooner. You deserved to know. I can understand choosing to go your own way, but you stole a young child from her father. If you knew my father, you would understand. I wasn't the first one he made. I was only the first one he kept. I was brought up with no friends, pushed to meet impossible demands. I wasn't a daughter to him. I was... I don't know what I was. Ariana has had a normal life. I made the right decision. Sounds like your friend Niket might be in some trouble. If they've got to Niket somehow, this is going to be harder than I'd planned. According to the specs I reviewed, we'll need to cut through the cargo processing yard to get to Ariana. Let's go find Niket and Ariana. Right.
useful. Maybe the captain knows we're listening in and she's feeding misinformation about Niquette making a switch. Or maybe it means something else. Niquette wouldn't do that.
Hammond, why won't this thing go any faster? What makes you so sure that Niket wouldn't turn on you? He could have turned on me when I ran away. I'm sure my father tried to buy him off. If he didn't do it then, why would he do it now? Did Niket know that you took Oriana from your father? No, he just found out about that recently. It was too personal to involve someone else. I never really thought about it, but maybe... No, he'd have to understand why I did it. He knows what I went through. The message on the radio seemed pretty clear. He wouldn't betray me. We'll be at the transport shuttle in a moment and we'll clear this up. He did betray you, sucker! Listen to me, I've got authorization to change their booking. I'm sorry, sir. We're under security lockdown. <laughs> Until the situation in the cargo terminal is resolved, no passengers can be rebooked. This isn't worth my time, Niket. I get paid regardless of how the girl gets there. No. I was told that I could handle this my way. We're not traumatizing the family any more than we... Miri. This should be fun. sold me out. How do you want to handle this, Miranda? Why, Niket? You were my friend. You helped me get away from my father. Yes, because you wanted to leave. That was your choice. But if I'd known that you'd stolen a baby... I didn't steal her. I rescued her. From a life of wealth and happiness? You weren't saving her. You were getting back at your father. If Niket knows about Oriana, then your father does too. Relocating her won't work. Miranda's father has no information about Oriana. I knew you had spy programs in your father's system, Miri, so I kept it private. I'm the only one who knows. Which means that you're the only loose end. This isn't how I wanted it to end, Niket. I'm going to miss you. Miranda, wait. You don't want to do this. This has to end here, Shepard. My father will keep trying to find Oriana. Maybe Niket can help. Talk to your father. Just say you got here first. Uh, I'll tell him that you hit her. That I don't know where she is. I never want to see you again, Niket. Done. Now, if you don't mind, I have a shipment to deliver. You'll die for that, bitch! <laughs> Could be more eclipse mercs near the shuttle. I want to make sure Oriana and her family get on safely. I can't believe Niket sold me out. I didn't even see it coming. Everyone makes mistakes. I'm guessing that's one you won't repeat. Why didn't you let me kill him? I could have handled that. But watching him get gunned down by that Asari bitch. You still cared for him, even if he betrayed you. You're right. And my father knew it. He used that against me. 
It's always been like this. My father gave me anything I ever wanted. But there was always a hook, an angle for his long-term plan. I threw away everything he ever gave me when I ran. Except Niket. Weakness on my part? You still have Oriana. My father didn't give her to me. I rescued her, but yes, you're right. I still have something. Thank you. No sign of eclipse. It looks like we're clear. There she is. She's safe. With her family. Come on, we should go. Don't you even want to say hello? It's not about what I want, it's about what's right for her. The less she knows about me, the better. She's got a family. A life. I'll just complicate that for her. She doesn't need any details, but would it really be so bad for her to know she has a sister who loves her? I guess not. Go on. We'll wait here. That's gaming. Yo, appreciate the light, man. Salute. Appreciate you coming through with the light. Thank you. How you guys doing today, man? Hope y'all enjoying y'all Wednesdays. Oh, she got new power. Oh, okay. All right, so we're done with that mission. Still got one more to do on Thillium. Um, is to get uh, what's call it? Daughter, sorry. Okay, here we go. So we gotta go to tracking office, and then we gotta take a taxi. All right. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who's going to treat you right. Oh, I think I'm just going to stop dating for a while. I'm in the middle of an important call. I overheard you talking. Is this the data you're looking for? The Kurosa Generational Archive. You found it. Thank you. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here, for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed us. systems are great for business. I don't know. Some of them seem dangerous. No, I... Shepard. I... I don't suppose you'd remember me. I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the Geth attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave, and you killed it. And saved... I promised to help Zeus Hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. 
How's Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zoo's hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive, and the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. What are you doing here on Ilium? Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans. But the medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait a minute, Shiala. You were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue like normal Asari. Those health problems, I said, were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontier's representative knows about the issue. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh sign. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. What's your problem with humans? <sighs> not just humans, it's all of you. The Salarians and Turians are no better. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. You really think this is legal? Maybe Ilium's contract analyst should look it over. You ignorant yokel. I was negotiating contracts when your ancestors were still burning witches and enslaving each other. I haven't lost a contract dispute in 70 years. Try me. Perhaps we could work out different tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. I thought Asari preferred to mate with other races for genetic diversity. A short-sighted mistake perpetrated by the same self-hating malcontents who spawned the hateful term pure blood. We hardly need your alien DNA to randomize genetic material. A little radiation would work just as well. You provide no diversity, no new insights, no advancement. You bring only chaos and senseless deaths. Ah. Whose deaths are we talking about exactly? The mother of my daughters was killed on the Quarian homeworld during the initial Geth uprising. My daughters died on the Citadel when the Geth attacked. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? Studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art. Said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people. Exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I, I'm not. I, I didn't... Oh. I'm sending an amended contract. No more tests. No fees. 
There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I you did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You've saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the new contracts. It's fixed for now. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe some time when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Wow, <laughs> Nah. You know Irinya won't even talk to the non-Asari. Can I help you with something? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. Wait, why? Do you have a problem, or did she kill somebody already? Relax. I just need to speak with her. Good. Samara's the first Justicar I've seen on Ilium. If I'm lucky, things will stay peaceful. She went to the commercial spaceport a few hours ago. If you want to get there, the pedestal on that balcony will summon a cab. Just be polite when you meet her. Justicars embody our highest laws, and they usually stay in Asari space. She's not used to dealing with aliens. Where do you think you're going? I'm taking my goods to Omega, Detective. You're not going anywhere, Merchant. Not until I solve this murder. I had nothing to do with that. It was those mercenary thugs you can't seem to get rid of. <laughs> the victim was your business partner, and I'm not ruling you out. I'll let you know when you can leave. What about that Justicar that just showed up? Everyone says she might go crazy and start killing. I need to leave. She'll only kill the unjust, so I'm sure you have nothing to worry about, Pitney Four. Find me in the station if you need me. What do you want? I've already got mercs wanting to kill me like they did my partner. I don't need any more trouble. As if that weren't enough, some Asari Justicar showed up this morning. All the natives are scared of her. I've got to get off this world. I'll say spooks, spooks. Has Samara actually done anything yet? The Asari say that Justicars are lethal in a fight. And if they so much as smell corruption, they start shooting. The thing is, corruption isn't that hard to find around here. Tell me how to find the Justicar. She's in the alley where my business partner was murdered. A detective sealed the area, so you'll have to talk with her if you want to go there. Why would these mercs kill him? And why do you think they're coming after you, too? I have no idea. We're innocent merchants. But they killed him, so they must be after me, too. I have to work the angles and get out of here. You don't seem too broken up about your partner's death. Dakni Kerr knew the risks when he took to spacing. Right now, my worry is me. It's unhealthy to be a Volus in the Nosastra spaceport right now. Especially a Volus named Pitney Four. Why do you think it was mercenaries? 
Dagny Kerr was cutting through a back alley last night when someone killed him with a shotgun. I saw his body this morning. They'd used modded rounds. That means Eclipse Mercs. You must know something about these Eclipse. I occasionally do business with them, but only in well-lit places, with my guards, and only after the creds clear. This is a scummy bunch, even by Merc standards. They sell red sand, all kinds of illegal item, and they are all cold-blooded killers. I should go. Just a car when I was young. Every sound does, I guess. Nice guns. Try not to use them in my district. What can I do for you? I'm looking for an Asari warrior named Samara. If you've got a score to settle with Samara, take it somewhere else. I've got more than enough trouble here already. I need to recruit Samara for my mission. Then we'll be on our way. Justicars usually work alone, but they are drawn to impossible causes. Then we'll get along just fine. If you're getting her out of my district, I'll get you to her ASAP. She's at the crime scene. You're awfully anxious to get Samara out of your district. My bosses want me to detain her. They're worried she'll cause some kind of cross-species incident. But her Justicar code won't let her be taken into custody. If I try it, she'll have to kill me. I have no interest in dying, so if you lure her away with some big noble cause before I have to carry out my orders, I'm thrilled to help you. How do I get to the crime scene? It's around the corner. Go outside, take a left. Look for the police line. I'll send word to let you in. Be careful. The local Eclipse Mercs have been all over those back alleys lately. I have to go. Good luck. We better find tomorrow before that detective does. Anaya told us to let you through. Watch yourself. There's Merc activity back here. We're waiting on backup. Big old bitty. The name of the ship. Big old, big old, Your big old, life big hangs big on the answer, Lieutenant. You can kill me, but one of us will take you down, Justicar. <laughs> what was the name of the ship she left on? Go to hell. Find peace in the embrace of the goddess. <laughs> My name is Samara, a servant of the Justicar Code. My quarrel is with these Eclipse sisters, but I see three well-armed people before me. Are we friend or foe? 
I'm Commander Shepard, and I need your help with a critical mission, Samara. You honor me, but I am in the middle of an investigation. I need you to help me take down the Collectors. The Collectors are a worthy foe. I would relish testing myself against them, but I seek an incredibly dangerous fugitive. I cornered her here, but the Eclipse Sisters smuggled her off-world. I must find the name of the ship she left on before the trail goes cold. I wish you were willing to go with the human, Justicar. I've been ordered to take you into custody if you won't leave. You risk a great deal by following your orders, Detective. Fortunately, I will not have to resist. My code obligates me to cooperate with you for one day. After that, I must return to my investigation. I won't be able to release you that soon. You won't be able to stop me. I'll get the name of that ship. Do that, and I will join you. Then the code will be satisfied. <clears throat> Do you have any leads? The Volus merchant Pitney Four is tied to this. Eclipse mercs are preparing to kill him. Get the truth out of him. He may know a way into the Eclipse base. Well, I've got to get back to my station. And I guess I've got to take you with me. Thank you, Shepard. Yeah. Question fit me. Hello again, Earth Clan. Did you speak to the detective? You said you didn't know anything about all this. You got one chance to change that statement. What do you mean, Earth Clan? Oh dear. Please put that away. I'll be cooperative, I swear. Tell me everything. I smuggled a chemical onto Ilium that boosts biotic powers in combat. It also is toxic. I may have, um, forgotten to mention that to the Eclipse, so they are perturbed and want to kill me. It sounds like you're a swindler and your actions finally caught up with you. True and true. But I haven't survived as a merchant this long without being able to tell when there's a deal in the making. You want something. The Eclipse recently smuggled someone off-world. I need the name of the ship she left on. I don't know about their people smuggling operations. They must keep records in their base. I do have a pass card they issued me to bring my goods in. Well, I, I had to return that one, but I happened to make a copy. Take it. But be careful. Each Eclipse sister commits a murder to earn her uniform. They are all dangerous.
my weapon once. I pretended to because the other Eclipse sisters were watching, but I didn't really shoot. I'm not one of them. I'm new. I thought being Elnora the mercenary would be cool, but I didn't know what they were really like. You chose your side, Elnora, and you lost. Screw that, bitch! <laughs> More. Yeah, bitch. That's out of here, sucker. We can use this. <clears throat> Damn, thanks.
it's official. Little baby Elnora is finally a full-fledged Eclipse Merc. I earned my uniform last night when I killed that ridiculous Volus. A close exploding round. Blew the little bastard's suit wide open. <laughs> I can't wait to see some real action. Next time I... Those my friends are gonna be... Manifest shows the Pitney 4 sold 2,000 units of Minigen X3 to the Eclipse, along with 600 units of red sand. This isn't the information Samara needs, but it proves the Volus is a criminal. I'm sure Detective Anaya would be interested in this. We gotta keep moving. things and they happen fear me lesser creatures for i am biotics made flesh i don't know what drugs you're on but stay back and i won't shoot you you will regret your scandalous words i am a great wind that will sweep all before me like a a great wind a great biotic wind <laughs> yes the Asari injecting so many drugs into me was terrifying. But then I began to smell my greatness. They may laugh when I fall over, but they don't know what I know in my head. But I know that I am amazingly powerful. Fear me! Good luck with you. Everything. Wait, Earth Clan. You're just in time to witness my crowning achievement. The leader of the mercenaries is in the next room. I shall toss Wasea about like a rag doll. This guy's cute and all, but he's just gonna get himself killed out there. I will tear her apart. My biotics are unstoppable. Wasaya will tear you apart. Take a nap. You'll feel better. Are you mad? I'm unstoppable. Feasting on her biotic rich blood will be the last thing. But, great wind. Biotic god. <laughs> I'm. I. What was I saying? I'm. tired. You may be right. Yes. 
Oh, I'm tired. Oh, map. Destroy the universe later. Ah, uh, can we keep him? Everything's gone to hell since we smuggled that filthy creature off-world. First a Justicar shows up, now you. At least I can take pleasure in turning your head into a pulpy mass! You see that? That must be the ship Samara was looking for. Should we head back to the police station and give her the name? Or look around first? Let's give her the name and keep moving. Thank you for removing the Eclipse Threat, Earth Clan. It will take them months to rebuild their organization. Also, merely out of curiosity, when you were poking about, did you perhaps run across a shipping manifest that belongs to me? We both know this manifest will get you sent away for a long time. Absolutely, Earth Clan. For the manifest, I'll give you all the creds I made selling the Minigen. Here's the manifest. Next time you do something illegal, don't write it down. An excellent point, Earth Clan. You're clearly a better criminal than I. A pleasure doing If you have something that'll encourage the Justicor... I've got the name of the ship. Your fugitive left here two days ago on the AML Demeter. Shepard, you impress me. You fulfilled your part of the bargain, and I will fulfill mine. I am ready to leave immediately, if that will satisfy your superiors, Detective. You're free to go, Justicar. It has been an honor having you in my station. And it's nice you didn't kill me, too. The Normandy is docked near the main trading floor. I'll see you aboard. I must be sworn to your service, so that I am never forced to choose between your orders and the code. I will serve you, Shepard. Your choices are my choices. Your morals are my morals. Your wishes are my code. I 
never thought I'd see a Justicar swear an oath like that. If you make me do anything extremely dishonorable, I may need to kill you when I'm released from my oath. You'll be a great asset to our mission. I'm excited to have you along. I am glad to hear it. I will fight by your side, kill your enemies, and protect your friends. Shall we return to your ship? I need to speak to the detective. Thanks for getting Samara out of my district. I can tell my granddaughters about meeting a Justicar, and you've just upped my chances of living long enough to have grandkids. I have proof that Eclipse killed the Volus merchant. Let's see what you've got there. Interesting. But I can't verify it. It would be inadmissible. I vouch for Shepard and any evidence she brings forward. I accept the judgment of the Justicar. Thanks, Shepard. I wasn't sure about trusting a stranger, and a human at that. But you came through. Never heard of this Elnora. Sounds like she was just starting her career. Good thing you cut it short. Okay, enough with all the congratulations. I've still got a spiraling crime rate. That's what we're going to leave it, man. We've been going almost three hours. So we did not doubt a lot of stuff. A lot of missions so far. Welcome so we're to the Normandy, Samara. On track. You studied your profile extensively. With your skills, I think you'll be an excellent addition to our team. Thank you. From an organization such as yours, that is high praise indeed. I've seen Samara's biotic powers at work. They're substantial. We still don't know what we're going to find when we hit the Collectors. I will be prepared for whatever we encounter. Where shall we put you? A room that looks out on the great empty void would be most comforting. Put her in the observation room on Deck 3. Thank you. I must meditate on the day's events. See what we had. Gyrus has personal matters discuss. So most of some side stuff. Jack and Warden Gyrus. Oh, uh, we still got to go find Tali and the layer of the Shadow Broker. So I think that's good. We left off was we uh, keep going on uh. Tali's mission and the Shadow Broker first, and then we'll work in uh, Jack, Morton, and Gars. Uh, um, you know. At a later date, probably next week. And uh, this is a good spot to end it here for today. And I appreciate everybody tuning in, man. Do me a favor. Uh, when you come in on the replay, man, do me a favor, give me a like. Uh, shoot, Sh uh, give me a share and uh, give me a comment, man. Or leave a shout out or something, man. I appreciate everybody. Uh, tune in tomorrow, man. Battlefield 2042. Uh, we still, uh, we still doing the Redux. Uh, I think this is the last week of the Redux, and then season six, uh, Battle Pass will be starting over there for Battlefield 2042. Um, let's see. Yeah, we're still on the Redux this week for Battlefield. Um, Friday uh, is the uh, Modern Warfare 3 beta drop. So, um, you know, if you see the event for the old veteran gamer for that, uh, do me a favor and uh, let me know if you're going to tune in, man. Hit the, uh, you know, hit the event over there on Facebook. Uh, if you're not on Facebook and watching this over there on YouTube, man, uh, follow me at the Old Veteran Gamer on Facebook, um, and you know, uh, hit the I or, or the exclamation notify so you can be notified whenever I go live 
um, should be live around one Friday, one one p.m. Friday. I believe that's when the beta is supposed to be released, according to them. Um, so yeah, for the early uh, access, uh, beta available download early for our place for uh, pre-order. Uh, beta starting October six, so. Be starting this Friday for that, man. So tune, make sure you tune in. So we can get ready uh, to get into some of that beta before the uh, release. So tune in Friday, man, so you can tune in and see what's going on with um, NW3, man. Sixteen new maps. That's what's up. So it's a reveal trailer. Pretty dope. Pretty dope. <laughs> Tune in Friday, man. We we'll we'll get into it, man. Yo, man, appreciate everybody c uh, coming through, man. And uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of y'all Wednesday, man. And we'll see you on the next. Peace. Oh. Take your business to someone who doesn't know the difference.